Since we know that this is the exposure time that we're going to use, probably the next best step is to go ahead and shoot darks for the auto dark subtraction. To do that, you open up the image process, select take darks, and then you'll see the uh, take, bark, take darks dialog up at the top of the screen. You have a first exposure setting and a last exposure setting. Whatever these settings are set to, the DSI software will take darks for all of the times between the first and last exposure. Since we're going to be using 5.7 second exposure times, I'm going to leave this at one second, run the last exposure time down to 5.7, leave the number of exposures to average set to 5, and then I would just click start and the DSI would take the darks automatically and tell me when it's done and it'll even remind me to uncover the scope. Uh, so put the cap on the scope, and tell it OK and it automatically takes all of the darks for me. Saves them to my dark frame directory and then automatically uses them to subtract darks when I'm taking the normal light exposures. Call a little earlier, I set the exposure setting to 5.7 seconds. At this point, I'm going to run that back down to one second. Okay, there's one second. And now I'm going to talk about the preview button and its boxes up top. Go ahead and check the long exposure button on your screen, and that'll make the preview button active and it'll also make this uh, preview exposure time uh, dialog active. Since we've decided to use 5.7 seconds for our exposure time, run the preview exposure time down to 5.7. Go ahead and click the preview button and the software will take a preview exposure and it'll display it on our uh, live tab. You'll notice that as soon as I click preview, the live button unchecked. So right now we have a 5.7 second exposure on our screen, but we're not updating at one second. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to click preview. I'm going to let the software take a 5.7 second exposure. Once that exposure is on the screen, like it is now, I come up to the color tab, open it up. I make sure that soft is checked. I click auto, the software automatically sets the color for me and I tell it okay. Now back on that color tab, you'll also see that there's a sharp setting. I don't use sharp, I prefer the soft, but it's a preference thing. So if you want to give sharp a try, you should do that. 